working on cleaning up our coffee bar and decorating it for spring and I cannot wait. I'm so glad that you were here with us. My name is Clarissa and we are our fun circus. I'm a mama to three little kids, a nine-year-old, a six-year-old, and a two-year-old. And I would love it if you joined our YouTube family. Um, we do a lot of cleaning, decorating, and mommy lifestyle type things, a lot of daily vlogs, and I love Ray Dunn. So if you're interested in any of that, you should hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. But anyways, I'm just gonna show you how my coffee bar is right now, and then we can get started. Okay, so this is the way it looks right now. It's all decked out for St. Patty's Day. We had so much fun celebrating St. Patty's Day. It was a lot of fun. We tried to catch a leprechaun and the kids just had so much fun. I really, really enjoyed having it decorated for St. Patty's Day. But now it is time to take it down and get it all ready for Easter and spring. And I can't wait to do that with you guys. So let's get started. But first, let's have coffee. This is just a few of the items that I will be using on my coffee bar. I like to just put it over here on the counter that I, I know what I have to use. Um, and then we'll get started.
these Easter mugs that I have collected over the few years that I've been collecting radon. Also, I did this a spring um, garland that I DIY'd, I believe it was last year. Um, and then I just put this really nice table runner down that my mom made me. I love that. And I love how much color it gives to the coffee bar. And I'm doing a lot of pops of pink this year, so I decided to put somebody to love here. That's my light pink Raydon mug on my coffee Keurig. And then over here, I just added some eat napkins. I always have my coffee pods in here. I need to put a few more in there, but um, I like that. And then I put this very cute Happy Spring canister here. I don't have anything in it right now, but I just think it looks cute right there. That's usually where I have my baby sugar, but because I have my bunny sugar dish out, um, we'll be using this for the sugar that we need to add to our coffee. And I just think that looks so cute. And then I decided to put my little bunny topper on my Happy Easter mug. Um, and I just think that looks so cute. And I love the way my two-tiered tray turned out this time. So I have my yellow Peep Peep mug, one of my favorites. And then I have this cute little um, Ray Dunn Easter egg sign that was a mug topper on one of them. And I just think that looks really cute just propped up right there. Also, I added some jelly beans and some eggs and this cute little bunny sign. And then back there in my creamer, I have some stirs and then some egg picks. And then up top, I have peep with some eggs in there and a little plant in the back. And I am really happy with the way this turned out. I can't wait to use it. I can't wait to make coffee. Um, it's so cheerful and it's going to be so nice to wake up and make coffee with this cute spring Easter coffee bar. I figured today would be a great day to bake a homemade coffee syrup and I was surprised how easy this was to make. You take a cup of sugar and a cup of water and you're going to bring it to a boil and then simmer it for 15 minutes. Then you will be adding the flavor that you would like in it. There's so many different ways you can make it, but today I decided to do the maple vanilla. So I added three tablespoons of vanilla and one fourth cup of maple syrup. And you just pour it in. And then you want to make sure after it is done simmering for 15 minutes and you want to occasionally stir that. Um, you're going to want it to cool off before you put it in your bottle. And the bottle I'm using is just an oil bottle. Um, you can find them at Dollar Tree or pretty much any stores, I think. Um, and that's what I'm going to put it in. It's super, super yummy and pretty easy to make. Let me know if you try it out. Also, you definitely could use Splenda or a non-sugar substitute. Okay, so the sauce is cooled a little bit and now I'm going to pour it into the jar. Hopefully it's big enough to take all of it. Oh, almost all of it. Not quite. So delicious. There is my homemade coffee syrup, maple vanilla, and I can't wait to have it in my coffee. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you got some motivation, I hope you got some ideas. Um, I love to hear what you guys are working on or what you're hunting for. So comment down below. Um, I love getting to know you down there in the comments. And I hope you have a great day.